Welcome to Stuff and Futurity Tube. In the last video, you have seen that vitamins have different jobs to help keep the body working properly. There are 13 vitamins recognized in human nutrition, which have been divided, according to their solubility, into two groups, the lipid-soluble vitamins, and the water-soluble vitamins. Let's start to recognize what are the two groups. The lipid-soluble vitamins comprise vitamins A, D, E, and K. Each of these has important and varied functions. The four fat-soluble vitamin groups are related structurally in that all have as a basic structural unit of the molecule a 5-carbon isoprene segment. They are transported primarily by lymph from the intestines to the circulating blood. Bowel salts are required for efficient absorption of lipid-soluble metabolites in the intestine, anything that interferes with fat absorption, therefore, also inhibits the absorption of the lipid-soluble vitamins. Larger quantities of lipid-soluble vitamins than water-soluble vitamins are stored in the body's cells and are not excreted as easily as water-soluble ones. They do not need to be consumed as often as water-soluble vitamins, although adequate amounts are needed. If you take too much of a fat-soluble vitamin, it could become toxic. If you eat a varied diet, you will get enough of most of these vitamins from food, too, and the second group is the water-soluble vitamins. The water-soluble vitamins include vitamin C and the members of the vitamin B group, namely thiamine, vitamin B1, riboflavin, vitamin B2, niacin, vitamin B6, pantothenic acid, biotin, folate, and vitamin B12. Water-soluble vitamins are soluble in water and travel freely through the body. The body needs water-soluble vitamins in frequent, small doses. Excess amounts of water-soluble vitamins will not be retained in the body and usually are excreted by the kidneys through the urine. These vitamins are not as likely as lipid-soluble vitamins to reach toxic levels. But niacin, vitamin B6, folate, choline, and vitamin C have upper consumption limits. Vitamin B6 at high levels over a long period of time has been shown to cause irreversible nerve damage. A balanced diet usually provides enough of these vitamins. While people older than 50 and some vegetarians may need to use supplements to get enough B12, in the Eat Your Vitamins video series I will show you the importance of each member of the two vitamin groups. What are their roles in the body? How are they got from the dietary sources and other sources? What are the effects of excess consumption and efficient consumption of these vitamins? I will show you in detail about each member of these two vitamin groups, and now let's move on to the lipid-soluble vitamins and start with vitamin A. What is vitamin A? Vitamin A is a lipid-soluble vitamin that is stored in the liver. Why is vitamin A named using the alphabet A? Who discovered vitamin A? The idea to use the current familiar alphabet system can be traced to Cornelia Kennedy because, in her master's thesis in 1916, she was the first to use the letter A and B to designate the new dietary essentials. In 1917, Elmer McCollum from the University of Wisconsin-Madison along with Lafayette Mendel and Thomas Burrosborn from Yale University discovered one of these substances while researching the role of dietary fats. In 1918, these accessory factors were described as fat soluble and in 1920, they were referred to as vitamin A. So vitamin A basically the first vitamin discovered that's why it was given the letter A the first letter of the alphabet. What is alternative name, form for vitamin A? Retinol, retinol retinoic acid, beta-carotene, plant version, what are the types of vitamin A? There are two types of vitamin A that are found in the diet. The first type is preformed vitamin A, which is found in animal products, like meat, fish, poultry, and dairy products. The second type is called provitamin A. The most common form of this type is beta-carotene, which is found in plant foods, like vegetables and fruits. What is the biological function of vitamin A? The vitamin A group is essential for the maintenance of the linings of the body surfaces, for example, is given, for example, skin, respiratory tract, cornea. Let's recognize these function. Vitamin A is a micronutrient and an unsaturated hydrocarbon that plays a crucial role in vision by maintaining a clear cornea. This vitamin, retinol, is also combined with a protein called opsin in the retina of the eye. The complex molecules formed as a result of this combination are known as rhodopsin a protein in the eyes that allows seeing in low light conditions. Retinol, which is the storage form of vitamin A, is also oxidized to retinoic acid, a hormone that regulates gene expression during epithelial development, by protecting the epithelium and mucous membranes integrity in the body. 
Vitamin A helps to hydrate the skin effectively, giving it a radiant glow. It assists in promoting and maintaining healthy dermis and epidermis, the top two layers of the skin. Vitamin A, Vita, is known as an anti-inflammation vitamin because of its critical role in promoting the proper functioning of the immune system. Vitamin A functions in the regulation of cell growth and division such as needed for reproduction. Vitamin A, takes part in remodeling bone, and tooth growth. Vitamin A, stimulates the body to create white blood cells, specifically the lymphocyte. Lymphocytes attack foreign invaders and cancer cells and help produce proteins called antibodies, which also help fight off infections. Vitamin A is responsible for healthy lungs. Vitamin A is also important in the development of the heart, ears, eyes, and limbs of fetuses. Vitamin A is plentiful in many foods that are widely available from eggs and canned fish to many different vegetables and fruits, so the vast majority of people don't need to take a supplement, as long as their meals are balanced. What are the sources of vitamin A? It is usually better to get vitamin A which the body needs from a healthy diet alone, rather than supplements, because nutrient-dense foods contain other things that are good for the body, like fiber. Vitamin A comes from animal sources and plant sources. Most abundant vitamin A can be found in animal-based sources include fatty fish such as herring, sardines, tuna, fish oils, such as cod liver oil, herring oil, fortified milk, cheese, cream, butter, fortified margarine, synthetic vitamin A is added to margarine, eggs, liver, beef. Vitamin A is not present in plants, but many vegetables and fruits contain one or more of a class of pigments that can be converted to vitamin A in the body. Of these pigments, beta-carotene, provitamin A, is an excellent source of vitamin activity. So, by including good sources of beta-carotene in the diet, you can get vitamin A, as the body can convert this into retinol. The main food sources of beta-carotene, the precursor of vitamin A, are leafy green vegetables, kale, spinach, broccoli, collards, orange and yellow vegetables, carrots, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, and other winter squash, summer squash, tomatoes, red bell pepper, some vegetable oils, cantaloupe, mango, apricots, papaya, apples, fortified foods, which have added vitamins, like cereal, the crotoids that give fruits and vegetables their yellow, orange, or red color and that are converted to vitamin A in the body are best absorbed from cooked or homogenized vegetables served with some fat or oil. Does vitamin A help in losing weight? Vitamin A plays a main role in the production of thyroid hormones that regulate metabolism. According to a study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, the lack of vitamin A levels in the body leads to a deficiency in the function of the thyroid gland, and thus the level of metabolism decreases and leads to an imbalance of hormones such as an increase in the proportion of estrogen that causes fat accumulation in the buttocks area. And the process of losing weight becomes more difficult. What about vitamin A metabolism? The fat-soluble vitamins are transported primarily by lymph from the intestines to the circulating blood. Reformed vitamin A in animal foods occurs as retinal esters of fatty acids in association with membrane-bound cellular lipid and fat-containing storage cells. Also, provitamin A crotoids in plant-based foods are associated with cellular lipids but are embedded in complex cellular structures such as the cellulose-containing matrix of chloroplasts or the pigment-containing portion chromoplasts. Normal digestive processes free vitamin A and crotoids from embedding food matrices a more efficient process from animal than from vegetable tissues. Retinal esters are hydrolyzed and the retinol and freed crotoids are incorporated into lipid-containing, water-miscible micellar solutions. Products of fat digestion, for example, fatty acids, monoglycerides, cholesterol, and phospholipids, and secretions in bile, for example, bile salts and hydrolytic enzymes are required for the efficient absorption of retinol and especially for solubilization of the very lipophilic crotoids, for example, AA and BB carotene, BB cryptoxanthin, and lycopene, in the aqueous intestinal milieu, diets critically low in dietary fat, under about 5 to 10 grams daily, can therefore impede the efficient absorption of retinol and crotoids. Retinol and some crotoids enter the intestinal mucosal brush border by diffusion in accord with the concentration gradient between the micellar and plasma membrane of enterocytes. 
some crotates pass into the enterocyte and are solubilized into trilomicrons without further change whereas some of the provitamin A crotates are converted to retinol by a cleavage enzyme in the brush border. Retinol is trapped intracellularly by re-esterification or binding to specific intracellular binding proteins. Retinol esters and unconverted crotates together with other lipids are incorporated into trilomicrons, excreted into intestinal lymphatic channels, and delivered to the blood through the thoracic duct. Small amounts of vitamin A may be absorbed directly into the bloodstream, however, vitamin A is bound to a protein during transport in the bloodstream. Vitamin A is stored chiefly in the liver, with smaller amounts stored in other soft body tissues. More vitamin A is stored than any other fat-soluble vitamin. Vitamin A is readily absorbed from the intestine as retinal esters. The vitamin is distributed to the general circulation via the lymph and thoracic ducts. 90% of vitamin A is stored in the liver from which it is mobilized as the free alcohol, retinol. 95% is carried bound to plasma proteins, the retinol binding protein. Vitamin A undergoes hepatic metabolism as a first order process. Vitamin A is excreted via the feces and urine. Beta carotene is converted to retinol in the wall of the small intestine. Retinol can be converted into retinoic acid and excreted into the bile and feces. How much vitamins A do you need? Vitamin A is required by humans in very small amounts. Amounts of vitamin A are measured in retinol activity equivalents, rays, because of the varying levels of bioactivity, how they work in the body, of the different kinds of vitamin A, for example, retinol versus crotoids. Here are conversions for rays to other common measures of vitamin A. 1 ray, 0.001 mg of retinol. 1 ray, 0.006 mg of beta carotene. 1 ray, 3.3 international units, IUS, of vitamin A. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, is putting new labeling rules into effect in 2020 to 2021, stating that vitamin A amounts will be expressed in rays instead of this. Here are the most recent, updated references ranges, amounts are per day. And here is the tolerable upper level to be consumed of vitamin A. Here ends the first part of vitamin A. In the next video for the second part of vitamin A, I will share with you. What are the effects of excess consumption and efficient consumption of these vitamins? The best way to eat vitamin E rich food sources, to ensure that the body benefits from the absorption of vitamin A. I will also offer you a germ-busting soup recipe packed with vitamin A.